So you just upgraded to Town Hall 9, or maybe you've been a Town Hall 9 for a little while, and you want to be competitive in Clan Wars. This is a Town Hall 9 starter pack, so we're going to give you everything you need to upgrade, all the best attack strategies, and how to start building bases once you become a Town Hall 9. This will get you started and competitive in Clan Wars. Okay, so let's talk offense first. As soon as you upgrade to Town Hall 9, uh, there's three crucial upgrades that you have to make right away. Offensively, that is your army camps, your laboratory, and your spell factory. Get all of those upgraded. That is uh, six upgrades if you count all the army camps. So it's a bit of a hassle, but get it done. Farm that elixir. Um, those are absolutely necessary. You need that jump spell, you need to be able to research to upgrade your troops, and you need to have the extra army camp space. Now once that's done, get your queen to level 10 and get your hogs maxed out. Those things all have to be done, and then you can start the 3-star decent level Town Hall 9s. The heal spell is also important because that's what you're going to use to heal up your hogs, so get the heal spell done. Those six things are the six things you want to focus on right away. Now it is 10 Archer Queen levels, that does take a while, so farm your Dark Elixir. Until you get these th six things done, it's going to be difficult to 3-star a, a decent Town Hall 9. Okay, so after those six things are done, and we'll talk about the actual attack strategies a little later, the next things you want to focus on, these are less important, but they'll help you uh, be more successful in your attacks. Get your golems done, get your lava hounds done, start to work on dark spells, maybe get the haste spell unlocked, upgrade your poison spell, and do your balloons, of course. Um, these four are not as important, but they're the next step. And then from there, you start to work on uh, wizards, wall breakers, baby dragons, all the other things that aren't quite as important. Um, but those top six things are the essentials. The bottom four is kind of the next step, and then from there, you can go how you want. But that's that's the main thing you want to do at Town Hall 9 to get yourself going, to get yourself three-starring. Okay, so now what do you do defensively? And of course, you're doing this at the same time because defensive upgrades cost gold, whereas the offensive upgrades cost elixir and dark elixir, so you can do them simultaneously. First, get all your new traps. Get all the giant bombs, spring traps. Um, upgrade them as well, max out your traps. That's the easiest thing to do because they're not that expensive, they don't take much time. Of course, build all your new walls, get them up to the level of what your previous walls were. So if you had those level eight, Town Hall eight walls, I think it's level eight, the um, black skull walls, get those upgraded so you have um, the same level of walls all across. Get the new defenses upgraded to the previous Town Hall level, so get the new cannon, the new archer tower, the new air defense, the new Tesla, get all of that upgraded to what the previous level uh, was, so max for Town Hall 8, um, and then that's part of the new trap. So basically all the new stuff. Get it, get it upgraded to what it was for you as a Town Hall 8, and get those traps maxed out for Town Hall 9. Once that is done, you want to focus on air defenses and Teslas. Air defenses are a good way to eliminate any uh, air options. Just getting them maxed out means you can't get bullied as much by La Loon. And then you want to upgrade your Teslas as well. Uh, the Teslas are a great thing because they're a surprise. If they're maxed out, they're really going to do some damage. Now, I know these are Town Hall 10 levels, but Google Images only allows me to get so many... Uh, defensive images, so just imagine them as Town Hall 9 level, but get those two things maxed out. Then the next step is dropping your expos, and um, do it fairly soon. Don't be one of those people that hangs out at Town Hall 8.5 forever. If you want to be in competitive wars, um, most people are not going to want to have a base that's considered engineered. If you start to get maxed uh, offense, but you don't have any expos. So get the expos fairly soon. You can leave them at level one. And then once you have your expo, start upgrading wizard towers, archer towers, cannons, uh, and even the expos themselves. So it's basically a free-for-all with defenses after that. You can just start upgrading whatever you want. But the important thing is you do the traps first, then you go to air defense Tesla, then you drop the expos, and then you can pretty much upgrade in any order you want. Wizard towers might be a good thing to do because they're very good against balloons and hogs doing that splash damage, plus they're pretty high in hit points. Um, but the order is less important once you get past those initial upgrades. Okay, so now that you know approximately what you're going to be upgrading, 
let's talk about how you want to use these new troops and the Archer Queen and all this stuff to attack. Basically, the go-to at Town Hall 9 for a beginner attacker should either be Hogs or Laloon. And because I said upgrade your Hogs first, the first type of attacks, once you have that level 10 Queen, along with hopefully a level 10 King, you can go ahead and start using Hogs. Now, I assume you'll have Golems from Town Hall 8, and you can use them even if they're not level 4. Basically, the idea for attacks um, for beginners at Town Hall 9 is you're just coming in to take out the queen and to take out the CC troops with a small kill squad. That includes typically a golem or two, sometimes clan castle bowlers if you have access to bowlers. If not, you can just bring extra wizards and your heroes and sometimes a jump spell if it's somewhat hidden in the base. You use that kill squad to take out the defensive queen, the CC troops, and a few defenses. It's nice if you can get the king as well, but it's not that important. Then you use your hogs on the rest of the base with two to three heal spells. That's pretty much it. Um, use your heroes. If, if the queen and the CC troops are well protected, you're going to have to um, you're, go you're going to have to bring a jump spell and probably a golem to tank for your heroes. Just do whatever you have to do to get in there, get the queen, get the CC troops because those are the main things that can hurt your hogs. And then once you get those neutralized, then you can use the hogs and the rest of the base with a heal spell. In terms of what spells to bring, keep it proportional. If you're only bringing just like your heroes and a golem, that's all you need to get the CC troops and the defensive queen taken out. Then you can just bring a jump, you don't need the rage, and then you can use the three heals on your hogs. If you are bringing a bigger kill squad because it's harder to get to the queen and harder to get to the CC troops, then you can go ahead and uh, bring a rage and just bring two heals because you'll have less hogs and you'll be getting more of the base with your kill squad. Okay, so once you've upgraded a little farther, this is the next attack you can kind of graduate to, and it is a simple shattered laloon is what it's called. Basically, you're going to put down two golems, maybe one, depending on how hard it is to get into the base. It's a similar strategy, except you're using your kill squad now to get in there and take out the queen, the CC troops, but also air defenses. Uh, you want to grab one to two air defenses, as well as stuff like wizard towers, archer towers, teslas, that can also target your balloons. Because on the back end of the base, you're going to be using Laloon. And having the haste spells, the level isn't that important. Level one hastes are fine. But having the haste spells is typically helpful, because you're going to have like two lava hounds, maybe even one lava hound, and maybe 10 to 15 balloons. You send in the Lava Hounds to tank the air defenses as well as local defenses. Then you drop a few balloons on each defense, hasting them through the base, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, in this attack, you can see his kill squad got very far. The queen's going to get in there and get another air defense taken out uh, with her ability right here. Pops it, and she'll step up for that air defense. So that's basically the idea. Is a just the same thing, you're using a golem to tank typically, which you want to get upgraded eventually, but level 2 golems aren't that bad, level 3 are okay, you don't need to have max level 4 right away. You're going to use those golems to tank for your heroes as well as some wizards and possibly some bowlers, jump them into the base if you need the jump spell, take out the defensive queen, the CC troops, and in this case air defense is and then you can use Laloon on the back end of the base to work your way around with those haste spells and take out defenses. That's pretty much the go-to attack strategies for a beginner at Town Hall 9. As you continue to upgrade, you can check out my other videos for more uh, complex attack strategies once you get closer to max. Okay, now we're going to switch gears to base building. Let's talk about the basic steps for building a Town Hall 9 anti-3-star base, which is what you're going to want to do, build an anti-3-star base. First step is going to make a core of a base that has the clan castle, the air sweepers typically, and maybe one extra defensive building like a wizard tower, an archer tower, or a cannon. This is the middle of your base, not that important as to what defenses you put in it, as long as you have the CC troops and typically the air sweepers in it. The next step here is going to be putting down the other central compartments, not the actual core, 
specific compartments around it that have important buildings, such as the Archer Queen, typically two, maybe three of your air defenses that you want to keep better protected, as well as expos. I'll assume the expos have already been put down. If you're at a point in time where you don't have expos yet, just don't include them. Just put the other essentials, such as air defenses, maybe a storage or two just to hold up troops because the storages have a lot of hit points. The bomb tower put next to your queen. That way, if they drop a skeleton spell to take out your queen, the bomb tower can deal with it. But these other um, important buildings, you put them in little compartments around the core, basically. Okay, next up after that is to put down the rest of the walls of your base just so you can get an idea of the, of the actual size before you put all your defenses down. And then put in some defenses that are well protected. These are point defense that are more than four tiles away from the outside wall. That way the queen can't reach them if they do a queen walk. Uh, put down more essential buildings such as your, um, both expos for sure should be down, but also your king, the rest of your air defenses, and like I said, these other point defense that you're going to keep protected and help and use them to help defend against queen walks. You want to have typically at least two of your air defenses relatively protected and not on the outer layer of the base. So you can see the two air defenses that were first put down are better protected and that's going to be helpful against La Luna attacks. Okay, the next step after that is to fill in the rest of your defenses as well as storages. Um, Typically, the storages are the best thing to fill in around defenses actually inside your base because the storages have a lot of hit points and they'll hold up troops as they try to enter the base because it takes a while to get them taken out. Um, spread out your defenses, keep your wizard towers so that they can't um, be tanked by a lava hound sitting on an air defense. So keep the wizard towers away from the air defenses. Make sure to point your sweepers towards the air defenses that hasn't been done yet on this base, uh, but that's an important step and make sure there's no gaps or anything. Fill in all the defenses besides your Teslas and your mortars. Okay, next step after that is to put down your traps. Um, these are your Teslas, your spring traps, giant bombs, uh, etc., the air traps as well, as well as your mortars and your Teslas. Now at Town Hall 9, the mortars can go on the outside of the base, Put them between defenses. This makes it more difficult for attackers to target your actual important defenses with balloons or hogs because um, it messes up the uh, targeting and they'll all target onto the outer uh, mortars. People like using Tesla farms. I recommend them. Uh, put them on the outside of the base by some storages where there's not a lot of other defenses, so they're not going to be expecting their troops to take a lot of damage in that area. Uh, put the spring traps between defenses, of course, giant bombs between defenses, seeking air mines next to air defenses, and red air bombs next to your wizard towers away from those air defenses, single bombs on the outside to kill wall breakers, and um, that's pretty much it. Sometimes people use a troll Tesla in the corner. That's your decision. It can mess up a first attack though, um, which is why people often use it. Final step is gonna be to put down the trash buildings. Just put them in an even layer around the base. Make sure there's enough gaps by the walls so they can't guess where your Tesla farm is gonna be. The Teslas could be in any location on the outside of the base. Uh, as you can see here, there's plenty of different possible locations. So the attacker, the, um, the first person to attack your base is not gonna know where. Um, double check for any mistakes, anything you wanna change or adjust. Now's the time. You can put the builder huts in the corners just in case they forget to put an archer there. They can run out of time if they leave up a builder hut in the corner. That is it though for Town Hall 9 base building. These were pretty much the most basic uh, shortest explanations for each part of Town Hall 9. If you're not a regular viewer, check out my channel. I have plenty more in-depth guides to get you going at any Town Hall level for Clan Wars, so be sure to check that out. If you're having trouble with your base building, you can always check out my Patreon channel, uh, my Patreon page. It's linked in the description, and you can get your own custom war base or even two custom war bases per month. Uh, so the details are on my Patreon page linked in the description. That'll pretty much do it. Hope this video was helpful for those of you new Town Hall 9s. These are the essentials and these will help you get going in Clan Wars. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.